Okay, so just when you think things are normal and everything sorted, here we've got the two large Mbiri males. And wow, what a what a coalition. Here they come. So at the moment I'm currently sitting at Main Dam. We've got a beautiful big herd of impala here and lots of little lambs running around. I'm hoping they're going to come into the clearing and uh, we can get some footage of them. The Nauru Pride are somewhere around here. I don't see red red, I see some of the young males. Quick shift to the right there, silver eye. So I don't know if it was her. You see she's got very full teats and very swollen signs of suckle marks. So I'm not sure who's got the cubs here at the moment. I think it's her and possibly another lioness. Okay, so we were just a few seconds late, so we literally pulled into the sighting. Got all the Naris around us here, surrounding the vehicle in front of us. And uh, I asked one of the guides in the sighting where the cubs are. And, it, and he says, he just showed me a sign like this, which means they've gone back down into the drainage line. So they were they were here, we were so close. Um, we'll definitely come back here in the next few days. We know now that they've got cubs. As you saw the other day, we followed the lioness, the silver-eyed lioness into the drainage. We lost her, presumably going back to her cubs. So they're definitely around here. This is not far from where we had her the other day, but for now we're gonna stick with the Naris. We've been searching for the Nauru Pride all over the place for where we left them last night. And uh, we've just now around close to six, six o'clock, we've heard audio for a male lion. We think it's Red Road and he's in the area here. I'm waiting for him to call again so we can just establish a direction. But he sounds like he's very close. So I don't know if he's going to link up with the rest of the Nauru Pride or if he's come back from patrol. We're kind of just waiting now. It's a waiting game. We've gotten close, we've heard him far away, we've heard him closer, it's, it's getting warmer. Um, so now it's sort of just the last bit of calling that we need to know just to establish exactly where he is. Wow everyone, so how is this for luck? Here comes Red Road right down the road. I'm just going to move off the bridge so he's got space to cross if he wants to come across the bridge. But this is amazing. Okay, so we've just lost vision of the red red male. Uh, what a great sighting of him. That was really, really spectacular. Okay, 
Okay, so just when you think things are normal and everything's sorted, here we've got the two large Imbiri males. And wow, what a what a coalition. Here they come, looking as mighty as ever compared to the last time I saw them. They're looking even in better nick. And this is this is trouble, everyone. They mean business. despite all the trouble and chaos that these two males bring to the lion dynamics here in the north of the Manuleti, it is good to see them again. They are just specimens. For me, it's they are just everything you'd want a male lion to be. One or two battle scars, not too badly scarred. There is a fair amount there on them, but big manes, confidence, that blood brotherly bond, it's just it's amazing to see see these two boys in action. So in the background here comes a very curious and very brave blackback jackal. With them being here, we know that the Imbiri Pride, I don't think, would be anywhere near here, as well as the Tinswala males. And um, obviously it brings an interesting topic of discussion, is that how much longer is this going to keep happening before something gives way? I mean, with them, they keep coming in, roaring, displaying like they own the place. Meanwhile, this is the Tinswala males and the Imbiri Pride's territory. So I think the Imbiri Pride and the Tinswala males need to have a little bit of a wake-up, shake-up. Especially the Tinswala males, they need to get their act together, um, get that brotherly bond up and running again so they can face off intruders like this because this is not going to be the last time these Imbiri males come in often. You never know, there's the six Mayan bullers that are in Orpen, around the, or, well, around Orpen in the Kruger National Park, which is also a stone throw away from here, close to Skybeds and um, Morabisi in the north. So they could also come in. Um, maybe unknown male lines that we don't even know of in the area could also just pull in and see that the territory is up for the taking and unless in Chile and Mandevu specifically fix their bond and, and make sure things are fine between them and start roaring and patrolling together this is going to keep happening for a long time for the Imbiri Pride so hopefully, hopefully things will change but all we can do is spectate and, and watch what happens
Okay, so the morning has just got even better. We've rushed all the way down south. We're very, very close to probably one of the boundaries way down south. Um, the reason why we came down south so quickly is because we heard there was reports of a male leopard in the area. And uh, we haven't seen a, a male leopard on the virtual safari since, unfortunately, the late Tawangumi. And um, this male leopard, we think, we're going to get a visual now hopefully and see who it is, but we think it's the Timbavati male. So interestingly enough, after looking at some photos of the Timbavati male, this is definitely not him. The spots aren't aren't matching up and aren't looking too similar to the facial shots that we've just gotten of him. So that is very interesting. So it's always cool to have a new leopard, especially when it's a male leopard that is this relaxed. I've seen the Timbavati male a few times now, but I've never had such relaxed sightings of him like this before. So new leopard don't know who it is we'll definitely get back to you on that one and try and find out who it is but this is very cool to to get a relaxed and a very big male leopard in the manuleti wow this male leopard is just so handsome and he's posing like such a champion So here's this male leopard perched beautifully in this marula tree right next to the vehicle and he is not phased by our presence whatsoever. Okay so what a way to end this virtual safari with this beautiful, let's find him, there he is up there, this beautiful male leopard. What a treat, what an unexpected treat of the day. Very very chuffed with that. What a beautiful creature. So that brings this virtual safari to an end. I really hope you all enjoyed that one as much as I did. I think that's definitely one for the books with the Embury males coming in. Beautiful sighting of Red Road yesterday. Nearly, nearly getting the Nauru cubs. And then a new, very handsome, relaxed male leopard on the scenes here. Yeah.